Virtual reality is one of the most exciting and rapidly growing fields out there, and there's a lot of potential to establish yourself as a leader in the space. So today, we're going to be talking about how to position yourself as the VR expert and allow you to showcase your skills and end up landing a job in VR. Hey there, I'm Justin and I've been doing VR for the last four years. I have been creating this YouTube channel to help other VR developers develop their skills, as well as actually co-founding a VR software company where we help larger enterprise clients create marketing material and advanced multiplayer systems. So I've been around the block and I know a thing or two about VR. So let's get into it. The first step to becoming a VR expert is to get the education that you need. So you may be attending school for uh, VR development or doing a course, but honestly, I would kind of recommend YouTube University. So uh, you can find just about anything you need to learn about virtual reality development on YouTube, from basic coding to advanced 3D modeling, even optimization stuff. The secret to doing this successfully is to actually build the stuff while you're learning. So instead of doing the monkey see, monkey do thing where you watch the video for about 10 seconds and then you pause and then you, you know, copy exactly what was just typed in the video, I would recommend watching the whole video through and then trying to recreate that on your own project. And then that will actually show you the discrepancy of what you actually understand and what you need to go back and rewatch and reevaluate a little bit. Now this method definitely takes a little bit longer up front, but you're able to, like I said, realize the information that you're absorbing and find out what you need to learn and understand a little bit better. So once you have these skills and you go about this process a little while, it's time to actually start building your own stuff. So I would recommend starting out with a demo project that showcases your abilities. So it honestly could just be anything that interests you. So keep it unique. Don't try to just make a slightly different version of one of those tutorial series that you watched. I would recommend you know, making it your own. So instead of copying a zombie game, try to make a space game, but you can keep a lot of the same elements from that original theme, but try to make the game uniquely yours. Copying someone else isn't a great way to position yourself as the expert, just so you're aware, because it doesn't really showcase your skills. It shows that you're uh, good at following someone else. So as you work on your demo project, make sure to document your process. So I'd recommend actually starting a devlog. So whether that is writing it out as a blog post or recording it kind of like a YouTube video to post to the public. Uh, this will not only help you establish yourself as the expert, but it'll also give you a chance to get some feedback and actually improve your skills. So in your devlog, for example, you could cover things like, here's you know what I learned, or here are some issues that I ran into when I was trying to build this project, and here's how I worked through those and how I fixed them. Stuff like this really helps people actually see how you think, uh, and it can help you actually clearly explain things. And it also um, kind of has a little feedback back on your end and it helps you understand what you learned a lot better when you are trying to articulate it in a video or on a blog post. So once you've followed enough tutorials and built a few demo projects, it's time to actually start making and building that first game. So you can use your skills and creativity to build something that's truly unique and innovative. So you could combine tons of different games that you like. And I'm sure that you're, you've been thinking about this idea of a game that's uniquely your own for a while now. So this is where you can really start to stand out as that VR expert and all your experiences will start to pay off. Now you can start to do this over and over again, and once you get the hang of it, you can very quickly build up to three or four games that you can now show off to people and point back to for credibility. I'm gonna pause you for a second. Can you do me a favor and like this video if you find it helpful? 
I actually look at what videos are performing well so that I can create more content based on what you like. And finally, I recommend being active on social media. So this kind of plays in with the blog devlog concept, but share your projects. Engaging with other VR enthusiasts and network with other people in the industry. When you see someone once online, you may not really recognize them, but showing up consistently online makes other people start to see your profile picture and say in their heads, oh yeah, that's the VR person. This is a great way to establish yourself as an expert and connect with others who share your passion for virtual reality. And who knows, you may end up making a connection that leads to that job. Remember, becoming a VR expert takes time, effort, and a lot of hard work. But if you follow these steps, you'll be well on your way to establishing yourself as a leader in the field.